السلام عليكم It's hard to really say what you want to say, you know, you're watching the TV, you're hearing the news, you're thinking about what's going on. Just finished watching the coronation at VTAC. It was really kind of uh, interesting, especially for me, uh, being a Muslim, of course, that they had people from various faiths get up there and first and foremost was a person who was a Muslim from the campus and he got up there and talked about what he felt and uh, he talked about Allah and said the word Allah so often that I was actually impressed and he quoted parts from the Quran to the point where I was wondering if the people in the audience were going to feel uncomfortable and I'm sure they slightly did but uh, you know he quoted parts from the Quran and quoted the Arabic and translated to English and you know, if anybody was actually listening to what he said, what he said was pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good, mashallah. He uh, spoke about the fact that, you know, no one ever knows when death is going to come, and it doesn't matter who you are, and all of us feel pain, whether we're Muslims, Jews, or Christians, we all hurt, and we're all the same, we share that, we're human. We all believe in God, and we don't know what God's plan is, and He's a more wise planner than all of us. And it's not up to us to judge or question the wisdom of God and you know, wonder what you could have done or if there could have been something else. It was a tragedy. A tragedy. And that when we lose our kids, it hurts all of us. doesn't matter what our faith is. He talked about the fact that you know, we come from Allah and to Him we're going to return, that none of us is immortal. And then, you know, I mean, it was just pretty impressive that they had a Muslim there and he spoke. Short, brief, still impressive. And then they had a Buddhist. And they also had a Buddhist, which is just interesting that they had a Buddhist to start with. It was a, a young woman as well. She had a moment of silence. They also had a uh, someone from the Jewish faith, though, another woman who was quoting something and then somebody translating into Hebrew, I'm assuming, and <laughs> it was very deep and meaningful, but I'm sure it was something that most of us in the audience were listening and thinking, isn't that a 60s peace love train anti-war song? <laughs> Is that really what's going on? And somebody actually put that into their uh, their song in the 60s or 70s and that became a hit and it's from the Kabbalah or something? That's pretty funny. Anyway, and then they had somebody from the Christian faith speak, but just really interesting to see. That the, actually, the fact that Muslims were even included in that, you know, our brother went up there and represented Islam without actually looking like a terrorist and having a sincere heartfelt emotion is just a refreshing change. I hope the people on the right-wing radio don't beat the guy up for being quite sincere. <laughs> all right, speaking of sincerity, to top all of this off was the guy who spoke before all of them. And that was President George Bush. President George Bush, who, who when uh, I saw him coming in in the motorcade, I thought maybe this is a photo op. But, uh, you know, after listening to him speak, the way he spoke, I actually was... Uh, I was somewhat touched. I actually felt that there was some sincerity there. And uh, I thought for a moment, you know, this is a tragedy for the country. And for once, it actually felt nice to have the President of the United States take the mic and say something to make America feel better. That's what this country's all about. Not that we need to feel better, but that we have leadership that represents something that has character. And it was, it was nice to see today. Sincerely heartfelt. Mr. President, but really just a tragedy, just a tragedy to see something like this happen, ah, to see something like this happen, what are you going to do?